Hey y'all, welcome to my little corner studio. I am so excited to be sharing with you the place where I create, the place where I meditate. What else can we have with the eight ending that I could rhyme. I don't know. I am just super excited. I had a gal, Tish, help me uh, organize in here and I still have some ways to go because when I get create I get a little messy and I, I pile and everything but I've kind of made it presentable today so that I could film and show you my area that I have so much fun in and it's so therapeutic and I'm gonna apologize ahead of time because the sun of course the clouds are out today so I only uh, film with natural light at the moment and I thought about filming with studio lighting at night but the problem is that my little studio I was right next to where everyone sleeps, as you will see in a moment. I live in a very small area. If y'all haven't been subscribed to my channel for long, um, you might not know that I actually, oh, see, here it goes. Y'all might not know that I actually live in a church, an old Methodist church, and so we live in two Sunday school rooms, basically. They're literally square box Sunday school rooms and I don't have any plumbing in here. I don't have a private bathroom. I don't have a shower in here. I do have a shower. Okay. I do wash my face and hair and everything and brush my teeth and whatever. And we have bathrooms that we have access to, but it's like kind of under down, down the hall. This is kind of what I have to work with for the lighting situation. So I apologize ahead of time, but let's to get on. This is so much fun. My bud. just also to add, <laughs> My children are cleaning their room right now, and my son just said, you want to take 30 million days? <laughs> so there's a little bit of reckless, but I've asked them to be quiet. Um, so hopefully you won't hear too much cluttering while I give you the tour. So this is what y'all normally see, me sitting in front of these lockers. And I got these lockers because obviously we don't have any storage in here. And if you look this way, that is my bedroom and I can read it so I have a steamer over there because I'm still dealing with my um, coffee stuff or some purses and everything and my t we have to hang up our towels up here so we have to be super creative with our living areas because and sleeping quarters because we live in again two small rooms so this is my space my little corner Studio. I need to back up so you can kind of see the whole thing. I have my 35 millimeter camera on right now. I'm sorry, not camera. <laughs> my 35 millimeter lens on right now. So to kind of give you a wider, because it, it's not really that big, but this kind of makes this lens kind of makes it look bigger. If you come to the left, you will see, and I have to manually focus this, some journals that I start, these are like the journals I used to journal in. Like this one has so much in it. It is almost complete and it's like full of words. I've got some art journals, some books that I love. This is one of my favorite life artists, um, Jane Davenport's face, beautiful faces. Some Strathmore journals, some really nice watercolor paper, 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 paper. Some things that I wanna alter, just some like random art journaling things. And then down here, drool drool, this is my Chic Sparrow uh, stash. It is holding this little shelf thing. I think I got this at like, I don't know where I got it, but I painted it. It was all black before and I painted it yellow. But I have my Chic Sparrows in here and I'm doing a tour of my Chic Sparrows for my next video. So you'll get to see how I use all these because I do use them, almost all of them. <clears throat> and then down the bottom here, number three, these are some Project Life smaller albums, some little photo albums, uh, my Polaroid zip paper, there's a Fujifilm Instax, whatever. And then down here I have a couple of like the Julia bag and the simple pouch, which I will be using when I go out of town this week. And then a bunch of like, of like my bits of paper that I'm saving that I want to journal and this is why this I'm gonna get into hopefully to do some junk journaling. You move over here I have this uh, antique furniture, rattan furniture that I purchased. I purchased the 
couch at a different place than I purchased the chair and the table. And so it actually ended up working out nicely. And this table I got as I did a job, a shabby chic, I worked for a shabby chic shop uh, doing, redoing the furniture, like painting it, distressing it and stuff. And I earned that table when I was like a teenager. So I've had a table for a long time. And the Hey Y'all pillow was a gift. And Antoine, I bought from my awesome friend Jess in Georgia, and she is an artist. And then I got this letter board from Letterful, and I just love, love, love that board. It is so much fun. And then I made this banner, this rainbow banner when I was sick. Isn't that so pretty? I just love that. I don't even know if I want to put anything else over that. I don't. I think I kind of want to just keep it like that. And then over here, this is where I read my Bible and do a lot of like meditation and praying and just seeking the Lord. And so I, I sit, this is like my favorite spot in the entire universe. And I have a heater here because I'm extremely cold natured. So I, I totally blast heat on me because I'm cold. I'm also a photographer. So she got me this awesome print or it's like more of a poster. And then I painted one of those black cheapo Walmart poster frames and I put it in there and then on this wall is just some art from like Hobby Lobby some pictures that I printed out and I think this is actually selfie paper if I remember right I just printed out some pictures this is my tattoo that my sister did designed for me like that was the actual paper they used to make my tattoo which is not in focus but she designed it so I kept that there and then this is my grandmother's first cross stitch and it says nobody's perfect and i love that it's a good reminder for me i love owls i wanted that so bad and so they let me have it so this is just my piles of like bibles and notes and stuff this keeps coming off because my cat plays with it but this is like an old blanket that i just can't part with for some reason it gives me joy so i keep it and then this is my little jamie's jewels dolly i did a review on it it's so cute. She just sits there. That lamp that I had mentioned, that ticket for that lamp, that's the lamp. I Isn't that a gorgeous, oh my gosh. This lamp I have had for like eight years. It was in half and it did not have, like it had cheapo, what do you call it? Cheapo of these and it didn't have, like the wiring is all was messed up. And so I actually paid a lot of money to get this lamp redone and I'm so glad I did. And the lady who I went to the shop, she said that was a very rare piece. So I'm pretty excited. I do love crystally danglies and I love chandeliers. This one I also got from Montana a long time ago. And we take these with us everywhere we move. We move a lot and they're just something that I can take with me that just helps me so much when I move into a new place. Like I have another one up here. I have some in the other room and there's just certain things that I just, I need to take with me and, and these are them. Like that's every time I go. And moving on, I have this little cart. I think it's called like Rakuten or something, but this cart is holding like paints and inks and pencils and uh, stamps and all sorts of stuff. And the bottom, I have modeling paste, gesso, matte medium. I have a thing of stencils, um, some pocket, a pocket letter or two people give me. I have trash apparently, and a Nerf gun bullet because my children blast each other with Nerf guns. Look at that. And so this is like for photos, and that's pretty much. I keep my bulkier stuff down here, and stencils. I'm still trying to find out a better way to 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 do the stencils. And then this one, this is like ma my main paints. So I have this that I use a lot for acrylics and eco line. And then these are like my several different, like my Cheapo watercolor set, my Daniel Smith, my Lucas, some more vintage tins that I have. I have my foil down here, um, my inks, Dynaflow inks, and then eco line watercolor is all right here. And then I have another set coming, y'all. You won't believe this. I totally broke down and I got the Schmincke, uh watercolor set from Jane Davenport. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And I'm pretty, I'm just pretty darn excited about that. I have these little 
hooky whatever magnetic things here i don't really have much in them sorry they're not in focus there you go i don't know i figured i'm using for something and then this top one's kind of a gong show i have prisma color pencils and some like sharpie white paint pens i have my watercolor brushes different kind of brushes hand lettering brushes and i have my ink tense pencils and some different like aqua brushes filled with like eco line or something this little thing holds my date stamps and some different stamps and then this is just a stencil then i have those glimmer mists are right here and I have some of the cheaper ones from like Michaels or whatever. I have like a big jar of flowers and my my Dynaflow, not Dynaflow, Dynamo, Dynaflow label maker, which I love, love. And ink pads. This is kind of a mess right here, but you know, I know where everything is. And um, I love this idea. I learned this from a planner meetup where you get the bobbins from like Walmart or something and you put washi samples on them. Isn't that fun? So anyway, that just kind of holds kind of like everyday stuff. I'm always like missing my scissors and not knowing where to put my scissors. And so I love these little Ollie clips. And I totally, it was an accident that this happened, but my scissors totally like can, look at that, isn't that fun? So I just had a spare Ollie clip and I just put my scissors there. Going more, a little trash can right there. There's this Nerf darts, but underneath I just have a whole slew. Let me go this way. See this bunch of cords. Just a whole bunch of like scrapbook papers um, and these are things. And then that's the paper I use when I'm lettering stuff and practicing. A little paper cutter and then like an album and like a bunch of album pages with the pocket things in them. Those. Here's the view this way. And so that kind of goes into my other room over there. So if you come this way way we have this is my desk and it's kind of you know how you normally see my desk I'm working on some stuff and so I just I left it there oh my gosh I got these new planner stamps let me get close up aren't they adorable they're tiny planner stamps oh my gosh I am like so about to change my planner setup just so I can be using these stamps like look at this one I love this one it's like I think the set was called, I don't know what it sells, like adult awards or something, but like made that appointment and didn't kill anyone and folded me, folded Mount Washmore, got off the couch, actually drank water. I just think those are so funny. I thought it was hilarious. Now you see kind of where I keep my washies. Aren't they cute? So those are my washi area that I have. I love them. This is a sign. I need to figure out how to how to um, put it up because I have these like really flimsy walls. But I said I'm creative. You can't expect me to be neat too. <laughs> That's so perfect for me. I have washi there. My letter folk letters. I should probably find a home for those. Heat gun. Just a bunch of different crazy stuff on this table at the moment because I'm working on stuff before I go to town. And then this is kind of ugh. This is kind of like crazy up here too those are my distress stains which let me tell you y'all you really have to use these quick because a lot of these are oxidizing and I think even molding because they smell funny when I'm using them which is really sad I don't like that and I haven't been using them because I've been using my watercolors and so I don't know if I would get as many colors if, again. I have a couple colors I would definitely repurchase. Yeah, that's kind of disappointing. Then I have these little like tiny things that I kind of mod podge. They were like black and white tile drawers. I just put these this paper over them. And there's all sorts of stuff in there. There's like letters and more letters. There's all sorts of little things in here. Tiny attacher staples. Um, little frame. Those are some uh, Tim Holtz rubber stamps. What is this? Some more letters. Just tons of letters. And I think I have like, there was like a, oh here. This is where I keep the refills for the dynamo thing. This I got at Hobby Lobby. And this piece of furniture. And I was like, I saw it. And I asked my husband if he could make it for me. 
and he's like just buy it because he did not want to take the time to make it and so I have a little bit better idea of what is on here because I get more into these drawers so this is a bunch of stamp pads and like embossing inks and stuff on this side I have like the what do you call it the adhesives and like the little track things and some sharpies just some like things that I kind of know I need I know I cannot forget what's in that drawer this one has my craft mat and a bunch of stickers in it um, stickers and rub-ons and then this one is some inserts lots of inserts in there and then in this one I have like like little bags my random crack bag like things that I would take on the go and then I have these like pads that I use for like letters and stuff oh you can't see that because it's completely white white out oh you can't even see it anyway those are like stationary and a little bit more inserts and then in this one I've got um what is this oh that's my Sam this is my dog's paw my I had an old English Mastiff that was like a member of the family and he had to be put down almost a couple years ago and this is his little paw print that I still got to do something with and then some little um what do you call it? paper clips and stuff I just kept it there because I was an empty drawer and I did not want anything to happen to it this is a bunch of wood chips like tons of wood chips that I love to use for like project life and stuff and then I've got this clear elements here see-through stuff that I love to use my journaling and then a bunch of stamps like just you know here's that one set that I really like to use a lot with numbers and stuff keep them there with my block and then I've got tons of different labels and stickers and stuff um, I haven't I use those more for like project life uh, I totally could probably use them for my journaling though I just haven't gone into that very much this is like bling bling for pages and then um, just ephemera <laughs> all ephemera so this is just like little bits of things that are like die cuts I guess those are die cuts yeah die cuts. Um, and then in here you have uh, have like uh, library pocket type things some just different things that I thought I'd use maybe one day it's kind of random drawer actually and this one there's glitter and I have the wax for wax seal that I send. Some little, just, this is kind of a random drawer too, but glitter mostly, glitter glue type stuff, like, what do you call it? Sparkles, speckles, stickles, something like that from Tim Holtz. And then here, some more bits that I really need to get to journaling. I really need to try to figure out that junk journal type thing. Here's some brads that I have, a bunch of brads and buttons. And then, journaling cards like tons of journaling cards some that I have made like I made that one thinking about scanning this in for Christmas and then some that you know from like the uh, project life and whatever and people have given me there's that Howard at the window and let's see and then you move down here this is like some of the art that I had reproduced it's this King Daughter I had it on Etsy for a while I have clear acetate and stuff and this one tons of smaller pages for like project life and here I have screen printing uh, alcohol inks and screen printing mainly and I want to get the ink blocks really bad and I'm already ready with the ink grade, ink tense grader thing. <laughs> and here I have acrylic paint. Some, so I always like save fairly clean um, paper towels for my painting and stuff. And then I have my Dynaflow. There's the black, it's all empty. How about that? <laughs> if you haven't seen my, uh, what is it? I think it's uh, making clear clear elements and I use I play with the Dynaflow inks oh my gosh I think that's the, the video it's that one or the one with the Dynaflow and then this is a ton of punches tons <laughs> ton of punches and then in here I have my 230 whatever dot card and then a bunch of like chipboard and those big old stamps back there there they are I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so that's what that is. And again, over here is just 
just papers and a little cutter deal. That is pretty much it, y'all. That is like my little space that I have. I hope you enjoyed seeing where I create and where I kind of, you know, keep my stuff and how much stuff I have. My goodness, I should probably go through some of it. It just really brings me a lot of joy to sit here and just create and not have to worry about anything but what's coming out of my brain onto paper. Thank you so much for joining me on my little tour of my creative corner. Create something that's happy, like create a place where you really want to go and, and just fill it with stuff that you love to see and that sparks a ton of joy like my rainbow banner. Love that. Love my lamp. I love lamp. Antoine's amazing. And so just everything is just drawing you to that place where you can create and you can let go and you can be safe. It is your safe haven. And there goes the sun. <laughs> I'm not sure how long that's gonna take, that cloud. Let's see. Okay, so this cloud's very big, okay. All right, so I'm hoping that I can wrap this up before the cloud decides to reveal the sun because I just switched my settings again. I appreciate all of you. I would love to see your creative spaces. If you would like to tag me on Instagram, that would be fabulous. And I am on Instagram at Allie Brownie, and I'm on Periscope, Allie Brown underscore photo. Here it comes, you ready? What? As I was saying, I'm on Periscope at Allie Brownie underscore photo. So while I am out of town, because I will be out of town for two weeks, and that's a long time, I know, I know, I'm, I'm gonna be posting videos, it'll be already uploaded, it'll all be done. My point is, I will be checking up on Periscope. I would love to show y'all my little space that I create for myself when I'm on the go, and just to share with you, because I like checking in, I like talking to y'all. It's fun to interact too. Thanks so much, and I will see y'all later. Bye. Can you see?